Now, welcome to Time in the Shade in Shady Oak Ministries, and now, the fake news. Good news for the freedom of religion. The Federal Bureau of Investigation has joined the Southern Poverty Law Center in officially labeling Christians as a hate group. With horrible acts like exercising the freedom of speech, public assembly, and other repulsive acts, they hope to put a stop to these violators of basic human rights on those who exercise them. Gosh darn it! Muslim Dawa speaker Uthman ibn Farood was the victim of an anti-Muslim hate crime recently. After getting into an argument with a non-Muslim, he was so distraught by the experience that he spilled fake blood on his white clothes. Don't you hate it when you make you do laundry? Nonsense. I've not yet begun to defile myself. Concerns have risen by local authorities reporting Jehovah's Witnesses getting kidnapped and locked in the basements of people whose houses they visit. Don't I know it. <laughs> Who buried Jesus? Atheists and Muslims point out that the Bible is unclear about this. Was it Joseph of Arimathea in Matthew 27, 37? Was it Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus in John 19, 38 through 42? Or it was the Jews and their rulers in Acts 13, 27 through 29? To this I have a question. Who pointed this out? Atheists? Muslims? Human beings? It's a mystery. It's no it's no it's a of <laughs> Sales of chicken eggs have finally stabilized after an outbreak of avian flu. The reason for this turnaround? You guessed it, Skip Heitzig. I don't get it. In an effort to gain more support from their conservative Christian supporters and sole source of funding, the Chosen has decided to dedicate their studio to hedonism for Pride Month. That'll never backfire. You've seen this before? Eleven times, as a matter of fact. And now for Time in the Shade's latest new game, Andy Stanley or Atheist, where we will play together a quote and figure out if it was stated by Andy Stanley or an atheist. The quote is, Peter, James, and Paul elected to unhitch the Christian faith from their Jewish scriptures. Was this quote made by Andy Stanley or an atheist? I'll give you a few more seconds. Leave your answer in the comments. If you answered Andy Stanley, you'd be correct. Andy Stanley stated this quote in the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission Conference in 2016. Ah, shut up! And that's the news. Thank you all and good night.